we're going to do now is just take a few minutes to have a look at the two different types of lighting techniques that we've got in 3D Studio and just really have a, a quick overview of what they are and what they do and what the differences are between them. So what we have is there are two types of lighting scenario that you can have. One is using direct lights and this is quite often known as uh, either direct lighting or traditional CG lighting as a technique. And the other type of lighting is called global illumination. Now the difference between the two is, is really rather quite striking. If I show you this example here, what we've got is, uh, although this is a self-illuminated piece of geometry, it's not actually casting any light in the scene. There's actually an omni light, I would say probably about there in the middle of the scene. And you can tell that because we've got a hot spot here, and a hot spot there, and a hot spot there. So it's casting light out into the scene from one point. However, what's not happening, that would happen in the real world, is that a ray of light would hit this wall and it would absorb some of the red energy and then bounce back into the room and it would illuminate this side of the box. So even down here in the corner that isn't being directly lit or can't be directly seen from the light source, would still be lit. Global illumination, on the other hand, as you can see, this is a similar sort of similar scene, but um, almost identical. It's quite a classic scene in terms of lighting. Uh, the light source from here, or that's round about here, is now actually throwing light out into the scene, and you can see we're getting bounced and reflected light. Yeah, so that's why these these areas and the, of these objects are now starting to look much better lit. And this technique is called global illumination. Uh, it's also known as radiosity rendering. Uh, several different names. There's several different basic techniques to it. But basically what it is, is it's reusing the light rays as we would see them in the real world. So just to go back over that again quickly, what we've got here is just a, a small little example. And you can see that the direct light ray passes from the light source and in direct lighting techniques just hits the surface. And that's it. It hits the surface, it illuminates the surface, it may well cast a shadow, but that's about it. Global illumination takes that direct ray, and as soon as it touches its surface, or another surface here, it actually allows that ray to bounce, so we then have indirect rays. Yeah, and these are rays that are bouncing off every single surface. They're also known as secondary rays as well. So we've got a direct light source here, and an indirect one that's bouncing just in the background there. You can use the, the same type of light, really. So you can see here we've got this, this light source. The, the, the same light source that we've got here can be used for either just a traditional CG um, direct light, or it can be used also for global illumination as well. All it really is, is it's a switch within the renderer that determines whether you're going to be using direct lighting or indirect lighting. You will find that direct lighting will be quicker, but it won't give you as good a result. I think that can be shown pretty much from the two images that we've got here. What you will also find when you're using this is that you will need to have, uh, there's a more complex setup for it as well. Uh, you'll need a slightly faster computer, although to be honest with you, nowadays most of the computers that are available are pretty good. So that's just a quick sort of overview and introduction to the difference between, you know, what is um, direct lighting and what's global illumination. What I'm going to talk about next is lighting strategies and what we would pick for certain situations, or what you know, lighting techniques we would use for certain situations.